we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you. I'm in verse 12. In the Lord and admonish you, esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. What he's saying here is that we're to recognize people who are a benefit, a blessing, people who contribute to our spiritual life, pastors, teachers, fellow believers, everyone that contributes to us. We should be thankful for them and recognizing what they mean in our life. Now, he says in verse 14, we exhort you, brethren, and warn those who are unruly. Who are the unruly? They're the ones that are asleep. They're the same ones we saw in verse 6. They're not living a faithful lifestyle. Comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. You ready for this? How do you want to turn your life around if you feel like maybe your spiritual life is not all that it should be? Here's three things. Three legs for your stool. Comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, and be patient with all. Do you realize what a transformation it would make in your life and mine if we took those three things. The Apostle Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, takes the issue of sanctification, the idea of spiritual growth and spirituality, and he reduces it down to its utmost simplicity in something every single one of us can do. You want to change your life? Who do you know that's faint-hearted that you could comfort? Who do you know that's weak that you can hold up? Who do you know that is a trial to be around that you could be patient with? There you have it. It would make a huge difference in our life. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good both for yourselves and for all. 